Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Super quick theory coming at you today. We're going to be talking about Gorod Krovi, and we won't be talking about the trailer or any of the marketing teases they've done or anything like that, but rather we'll be talking about the map itself and specifically one of the Easter eggs on the map, the music Easter egg in fact. As I'm sure you all know, on each Zombies map there is a music Easter egg and the idea is that you have to hold square on three teddies or three dolls or three skulls or whatever it might be and the song will play and it's a different song per map it's sometimes elena siegman it's sometimes maluka and every so often as well it's done by this guy or it's sung by this guy rather called clark s nova he's relatively unknown compared to people like elena and Maluka, simply because of the fact that Elena and Maluka's songs have been generally more popular over the years because they've been associated with particularly good maps or the songs just happen to have been good. But Clark has done songs as well. For example, he did the Transit Easter Egg song, Carrion, and he also did the Die Rise Easter Egg song, We All Fall Down. And I'll play a little bit of an excerpt from both of those songs now so you can get an idea of what his vocals sound like. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, so far in Black Ops 3, all the usual suspects have been involved with making the Easter egg songs. We've had Kevin Sherwood obviously doing plenty of stuff with it, but then also Jack Wall, for example, wrote Snakeskin Boots. It's his score for that song. I believe Brian Chewy's been involved, no doubt Scott Eckert, maybe James McCauley, Colin Ayers. The sound team have been doing what they do best, and we've heard their work through the voices as well of Maluka and Elena but we haven't heard from Clark S. Nova. However, a week ago or so, Clark tweeted out a picture of a red light on the ceiling and a little sign on the wall saying, recording. So potentially he's in the recording booth. Now, this guy has eight tweets total on his Twitter account and he's been tweeting since 2012. So he doesn't tweet very often and as such, I suspect when he does tweet, it tends to be for fairly important stuff. And he's only got like 425 followers as well. So it's not like a lot of people are following this account by any means. And so the thing that I take away from all of this is that there's a fairly good chance he is gonna be doing the vocals for the DLC 3 Easter egg song, which is pretty cool to know in advance. Personally, I actually really liked the songs that he did for Black Ops 2. I thought that they were great. And by the way, actually, some fun trivia for you. If you've been keeping your eye out over the years for little pictures and things like that in Zombies maps, you might recognize Clark S. Nova because he's, he's been around. <laughs> so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I just wanted to make a quick prediction that Clark S. Nova is going to be vocaling the song for Gorod Krovi. A question I have for you guys is if you could choose any artist to do the Easter egg song for DLC 4, so we'll have Clark for DLC 3, but then for 4, I mean, they could have multiple Easter egg songs in that map. They've done that before, and so it's certainly possible. In which case, who would you choose to make an Easter egg song for DLC 4 and why? We've had several songs from A7X over the years, and they've always been really good, and it's always fun seeing them get involved. Maybe there's another band like that that you think could bring some cool stuff to the table. Maybe there's a solo singer that you think would be a great fit in the same way that we've had Maluka and Delena. And there are heaps of other possibilities too. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That would be a fun discussion to start up. Fingers crossed you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then leave a like. If you haven't, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.